Did you know that a small bowl of rice, which is a favorite food of billions around the world, could be putting your kidneys at risk? Yes, you heard that exactly right. The simple rice that many of us eat daily might be carrying a surprising danger, and that danger could be bigger than you even think about it. In today's video, we will explore the most unexpected link between rice and kidney failure and tips to lower this risk. So stay tuned with us to discover what important information you need to know and how to protect your health. Firstly, let's discuss the global reliance on rice. Rice is one of the most edible grains in the whole world. Many people love to eat it separately or combined with other dishes. It is a dietary staple in many countries, especially in the continents of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. In fact, many studies suggest that rice is the primary source of food for more than half of the globe's population. It is affordable, versatile, and a very rich source of energy. But while rice has been in use for centuries as an important food source, modern agricultural practices and environmental changes are revealing potential health risks that we never thought rice could cause. Rice is usually praised for its nutritional benefits. It is one of the best nutrient-rich foods out there. Rice is low in fat, cholesterol-free, and a good source of vitamins and minerals. These vitamins and minerals include vitamin B, magnesium, and iron. However, the main purpose of our discussion today is not the specific benefits related to eating rice, but rather on the hidden dangers that it can cause with its consumption in today's world. And these dangers could be way worse than you even imagine. So let's come to the main topic of today's discussion, why rice is a hidden threat to kidneys. One of the most dangerous discoveries in recent years is that rice is literally alarming for your kidneys. And its main reason is the presence of arsenic in rice. Arsenic is basically a naturally occurring element. It is found in the environment naturally, but it's also introduced through pesticides and contaminated water into your food and drinks. And what is more dangerous is that rice plants have the ability to absorb far more arsenic than other crops. So this makes rice a significant dietary source of this toxic element. Arsenic exists in two forms, actually, organic arsenic and inorganic arsenic. Organic arsenic is found in the tissues of plants and animals, and inorganic is found in the Earth's crust or dissolved in water. Remember that organic arsenic is relatively less harmful. However, inorganic arsenic is highly toxic, and that arsenic is often found in rice. A famous study suggests that long-term exposure to inorganic arsenic can lead to severe health issues. These health issues include heart disease, cancer, and, of course, kidney failure. The main reason why rice has more arsenic as compared to other grains is due to the conditions in which it grows. Rice is typically grown in water-flooded fields. This type of farming includes a process known as paddy farming, and paddy farming facilitates the absorption and accumulation of more arsenic from the soil and water as compared to other farming practices. Arsenic seeps from soil and water, contaminated with arsenic due to arsenic-based pesticides, industrial wastes, or mining. Rice contains 10 times more arsenic than other grains, and according to research, rice consumption is the most common source of arsenic in our diet. Now you might be thinking about how arsenic affects your kidney health. So, let's find out what actually arsenic has to do with your kidneys. To understand that, it's important to know how your kidneys function. Kidneys are basically responsible for filtering your blood and removing toxins from it. Each of them contains about one million nephrons, which include a structure called the glomerulus. The glomerulus filters waste and excess water from the blood while keeping essential proteins and cells. The filtered fluid then passes through the kidney tubules where nutrients and proteins are reabsorbed into the bloodstream and waste is eliminated through urine. When you consume low levels of arsenic, healthy kidneys efficiently remove it. Once arsenic enters the bloodstream, the body uses a natural antioxidant called glutathione, which converts it into a less harmful form. The liver then adds a detoxification marker to the arsenic, which allows it to be safely filtered by the kidneys and eliminated through urine. However, regular exposure to arsenic, especially from contaminated rice, overloads the kidneys. This is because, over time, 
the body's ability to neutralize and remove arsenic weakens, which causes its buildup in the kidneys. This accumulation causes oxidative stress, which damages kidney cells by increasing harmful free radicals. As the body's natural antioxidant glutathione is reduced, it becomes harder to neutralize these free radicals, causing inflammation, cell death, and permanent kidney damage. A 2021 research also suggests that removing a lot of arsenic from your blood regularly makes your kidneys overhauled and overloaded. This thing can eventually lead to chronic kidney disease, CKD. CKD is a very bad and serious condition. In it, your kidneys gradually lose their ability to function properly. And the worst thing is that CKD can lead to permanent kidney failure if it is not managed properly. Moreover, another research shows that chronic and regular exposure to arsenic can damage the blood vessels in your kidneys. This thing reduces the ability of your kidneys to filter the waste effectively. This can then lead to the accumulation of dangerous toxins in your body. This stock further damages your kidneys and affects other organs. For those with existing kidney issues, this is even more dangerous. Damaged kidneys filter arsenic less efficiently, which speeds up toxicity and worsens the damage, potentially leading to kidney failure. This may result in the need for dialysis or a kidney transplant. In fact, a study also supports these findings. In this study, mice exposed to arsenic-contaminated rice for 16 weeks showed significant arsenic buildup in their kidneys, which increased oxidative stress and caused extensive kidney damage. This study highlights the real risks of long-term exposure to arsenic-contaminated food and its damaging effects on kidney health, especially in areas where such food is a dietary staple. Moreover, remember that in areas where arsenic-contaminated rice is a major part of the eating schedule, there are significantly higher cases of CKD due to the use of too much rice. This thing has been observed in many regions of Southeast Asia, especially in Bangladesh and parts of India. In these areas, the consumption of rice is extremely high, and arsenic levels in water and soil are also elevated. Types of rice and arsenic levels. The good news is that not all rice qualities are equal when it comes to arsenic levels. Some types of rice contain higher levels of arsenic, while others may have lower levels of arsenic. For example, brown rice generally has higher arsenic levels than white rice. This is because arsenic accumulates in the outer layers of the grains and is removed during the processing of white rice. But it doesn't mean that the white rice is completely safe and arsenic-free. Yeah, it may contain less arsenic. Remember that the refining process also takes away many of the nutritional benefits of white rice. It strips away beneficial ingredients such as fibers, vitamins, and minerals. Furthermore, rice grown in certain regions has also more arsenic levels than rice grown in other countries. For instance, the rice grown in the southern United States contains higher levels of arsenic as compared to the rice grown in different areas of Pakistan, Nepal, and India. It is believed that this thing is due to historical pesticide use and specific environmental factors. The Pakistani, Nepali, and Indian basmati and jasmine rice have the lowest level of arsenic in them. It is because these regions have less arsenic in their soil and water. So the same goes for their rice, too. In fact, 120,000 rice varieties are grown worldwide. The arsenic levels in these varieties vary by 3 to 34 percent, depending upon the type and area where it is grown. Now, let's discuss the role of modern agriculture in the rising of arsenic levels in rice. Modern agricultural practices are the reason why the level of arsenic is increasing in rice. The excessive use of pesticides and other chemicals has played a significant role in increasing the arsenic problem in rice. A famous 2007 research study, the use of arsenic-based pesticides, which were common in the 20th century, has left a legacy of contamination in the soil. Even though these pesticides have been banned in many countries, the residual arsenic remains in the soil and continues to be absorbed by rice plants. Moreover, Irrigation practices in rice farming also contribute to the arsenic levels in rice. In rice farming, there is an excessive need for water for the purpose of irrigation. Farmers flood the rice fields with water. This water remains there for days. 
Now in areas where the groundwater is contaminated with arsenic, that arsenic flows with the water used to flood rice fields. As a result, it increases the concentration of arsenic in the soil. Keep in mind that this contamination is not only limited to developing countries, it is evident in developed countries as well. You will not believe that rice grown in the United States has been found to contain more alarming levels of arsenic as compared to other countries, which is indeed very harmful to your kidneys. The global health impact of arsenic in rice, the global health impact of the rising levels of arsenic in rice is alarming. Those countries where rice is a famous and staple food are at a very high risk of widespread arsenic exposure. In some of these regions, arsenic contamination has been linked to a public health crisis. It is because that thing has a direct link with increasing rates of kidney diseases and other arsenic-related illnesses. So there is an important urgency of addressing this issue on a larger global scale to protect the more vulnerable populations. Now, let's learn how to reduce arsenic in rice. The problem of arsenic in rice is very serious and concerning. However, there are certain steps you can take to reduce your risk of getting permanent kidney damage. Number one, rinse your rice thoroughly before you cook it. A famous 2009 research shows that washing rice before cooking can remove up to 30% of the arsenic content. Additionally, cooking rice in a large amount of water, similar to the way you would cook pasta, can further reduce arsenic levels. Number two, cook rice in a rice cooker that has a steam basket. This method helps excess arsenic escape and keeps it from being absorbed into the rice. Number three, opt for different rice varieties. Go for a variety known to have lower arsenic content. We recommend you search for basmati rice or jasmine rice, particularly those grown in regions like northern Pakistan or northern India. This is because these varieties have the lowest arsenic levels. Number four, diversify your grain intake. Instead of relying solely on rice as your main staple, consider adding other grains to your daily diet. You can opt for grains like quinoa, barley, millet, and wheat, which generally contain much lower levels of arsenic than rice. On average, rice grown in a typical environment contains around 100 to 200 micrograms per kilogram of inorganic arsenic. In contrast, barley has about 30 micrograms per kilogram, wheat contains 20 micrograms per kilogram, and oats have 10 micrograms per kilogram. Grains such as maize, quinoa, sorghum, and millet contain even lower amounts, with levels below 10 micrograms per kilogram. You can opt for any of these. Number five, consume a balanced diet rich in fruits and vegetables. It will help you to mitigate some of the adverse effects of arsenic exposure. They do so by providing antioxidants and other nutrients that support your kidney health and keep them healthy and functional for years. Alternatives and future solutions. As we look towards the future, it's important to find out the alternatives to traditional rice cultivation. These alternatives will help us in reducing the risk of arsenic exposure. Scientists and agricultural experts are working on developing rice strains that are less likely to absorb arsenic. They are taking the help of genetic engineering for this purpose. There are also efforts to improve farming practices. These efforts include the use of clean water sources for irrigation and the employment of soil treatments that can reduce arsenic level uptake. One practical working approach is the development of low arsenic rice varieties. We are going to achieve it through the processes of selective breeding or genetic modification. These rice strains will be designed to absorb less arsenic from the soil, and they will still maintain their proper nutritional value. Additionally, research into alternative grains that can serve as staple foods instead of rice in regions heavily dependent on it is going on too. The goal of all of these practices is to provide safe and reliable nutritious options that can reduce our reliance on arsenic-contaminated rice, which is actually damaging your kidneys. Keep in mind that the link between rice and kidney failure is a serious issue, and it actually deserves our attention. While rice remains a crucial part of our diet and many others around the world, it is equally important to be aware of the potential risks. It is important in order to take precautionary steps to protect your overall health. You can minimize the risk by washing your rice and choosing the lower arsenic varieties. Remember, 
that your diet is within your hand, and making informed and rational choices can make all the difference. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with everyone you care about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.